Hello, welcome to my Frequently Asked Questions. Today I'm answering a commonly asked question, how to recover faster from facelift surgery. What do you absolutely need to know? So in answering this question, well, why is it important? Well, we all want to recover quicker, get on with meeting people, our social lives, our professional lives. So this is a very important subject. And these are the aspects that I'm going to cover in this talk. One, what is ice packs? How can that be helpful? Hot showers, when are they important to avoid? How to keep your head elevated after surgery and why is that important? Avoid hot drinks and hot food and the reason why. Smoking and alcohol consumption. Using a warm compress after 48 hours. Cleaning your stitches, antibiotics and of course nutrition. So, before we go on to this, my name is Dr. June De Silva. I'm an oculofacial plastic surgeon based in London, and this is what I do every day for my patients. So in terms of this, well, it's kind of construe a consultation. It's really for education and informative purposes. So how about ice packs? Well, are they helpful? Well, there is very good science behind this, that using cold compresses, using ice after any surgery or traumatic injury can reduce swelling and speed up healing. So it's important to use it for approximately 10 minutes and then you can have a break and you can apply it to different areas of your face and then have the rest of the hour, the other 50 minutes off. I would wrap the ice or frozen peas or the, or the frozen material in like a hand towel or a flannel so it's not directly on your skin. And this will definitely help reduce swelling the first three days. Hot showers. Well, it's important to avoid hot showers immediately after surgery. And we recommend for three days for two reasons. Firstly, the heat soon after surgery can increase swelling, which ultimately can increase your recovery. And secondly, it can also harbor infection. And really, there are waterborne infections that can actually give you rare but quite serious infections after surgery. Now in my office, in my practice, I have like seven filtration systems that filter all the water that comes into my practice so that we can be sure that it's clean and we test the water for organisms, microorganisms in addition to that. However, when you're at home having a shower, tap water, this water can harbour bacteria and microorganisms. So it's important to avoid it in that first three days until the skin is really healing. It's Now the other element to this is head elevation. And the reason for this is gravity because swelling is how the body heals and some of the swelling will settle with gravity. So it's important to sleep with your head slightly elevated to help reduce that swelling. Now there are a number of ways you can do this. You can use a number of pillows, two or three pillows to keep your head elevated. You can actually use a reclining chair. You can from Amazon or other um, shops, you can buy a, a triangular pillow that will support your um, upper torso and head and neck when you sleep at night. And that can be really effective in reducing swelling after surgery because swelling will generally settle with gravity. How about eating hot drinks and hot food? Well, this is very important in the very initial period of hours after the surgery. And the reason is when there's local anesthetic around your face, you won't necessarily be able to feel the temperature of hot food and hot drinks. So in that initial four hour period after surgery, it's, it's important that you're quite careful with these aspects. Particularly with facelift surgery, heat can be quite relevant. And so after a few days when you can use a shower, be very careful with things like hair dryers because the heat may not be detectable in your skin soon after surgery because areas of the skin will be numb. And that's completely normal. That numbness will completely resolve. But be careful with, particularly with hot things or, or things that potentially can damage the skin because you won't be able to feel the sensation 
immediately after the surgery. And that sensation will absolutely come back. But it really takes months for the sensation to come back around the ears and under your neck. And so in that initial period, be careful with things like hot drinks, hot food, and of course, hair dryers and other things that might contain heat. How about smoking and drinking? Well, smoking reduces oxygen in the body. So you really want to be careful about having smoking both before surgery and after surgery. So we really recommend you stopping for a period of weeks before surgery to make sure that the oxygen in your body is at the highest level. And oxygen and 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 oxygen really is one of the elixirs for speeding up healing. And for some patients, particularly with face of surgery, we give high concentrated oxygen to, to enhance recovery and healing. However, if you're, if you're smoking, that really is doing the opposite. It's delaying your healing, delaying recovery. And certainly one of the most serious issues with face of surgery is where part of the skin, particularly around the ears, doesn't get enough oxygen, and that's called skin necrosis, and that can result in the skin not being a normal pink and oxygenated color, but the skin can be almost black in color, and the number one risk factor for that is smoking, and so it's so important to do your very best to stop smoking to give you the best recovery and the best results after surgery. Alcohol, well, alcohol can affect things because alcohol reduces your water content and it causes dehydration and also it can thin the blood. There are various blood thinners within different types of alcohol that potentially can give you more swelling and more bruising. So we recommend reducing alcohol content before um, surgery in that that will give you the fastest recovery by reducing swelling and bruising. Now, the other aspect of this is infection. And although infection, in my experience, is very rare after face of surgery, smoking is a risk factor for that because by having less oxygen, it can increase, increase that chance. So for a further reason still, it's best to reduce that before surgery. How about warm compresses? Well, after 48 to 72 hours, it's absolutely fine to use warm compresses warm flannels on your face and that can be really helpful if you have some discomfort now pain is not a common thing in my patients however if if the area feels a bit sensitive then using warm compresses can really help because it just soothes the skin while it's healing how does it work well warm compresses tend to increase blood flow and circulation in in that area of the skin which ultimately can help you and you can do this up to four times a day for 30 minutes, and that can be really helpful in stimulating blood flow and enhancing recovery and healing. Changing bandages and cleaning your incisions. Well, I no longer use a head bandage after surgery as there's no scientific evidence for this. And from my experience over more than 10 years, well, really, in some patients, I find that a bandage can actually reduce swelling by causing compression. In terms of stitches, well, I prescribe like antibiotics for all my patients to use over the stitches in the first few days after surgery just to ensure good healing and moisturize the skin. Every doctor differs in their approach regarding this and it's worth listening to your doctor to see what their specific instructions are. And of course, if you have anything concerning, well, it's important to take some photographs, send it to your doctor and he be, should be able to get back to you within a few hours but from my experience, infection after face of surgery is really very uncommon or rare. And so anything unusual, it's worth speaking to your doctor regarding this. Finally, what about nutrients? Well, it's important to have a healthy diet after surgery. And that means in terms of nutrients, balanced diet means carbohydrate, protein and fat. It's not a good time to go on a crash diet because starving your body is going to delay healing, delay um, um, healing of the soft tissues after surgery. In addition to that, it's important to have a well hydrated um, intake. And that means drinking at least three liters of water a day. Water is very important in healing. And so drinking plenty of water is important. Salt intake, well, salt intake is moderation. And we all need a certain amount of salt in our diets. However, high salt intake will 
tend to cause you to retain excessive water and give you more swelling. So it's a good idea to have a relatively low salt diet. Vitamin K, well, vitamin K is an important constitute of um, healing, and so that can be available in, in various like supplements, and that can be helpful in healing, and it can also help reduce bruising and swelling. So, in summary, what are the things that can really help in reducing swelling and enhancing your recovery after face-up surgery? Well, we talked about using ice and cold packs in the first three days. We talked about avoiding heat and avoiding the um, water from showers in the first three days. Keeping your head elevated, particularly at night, to reduce swelling from gravity. Avoiding hot temperature that can be in the form of food drinks and of course um, hair dryers in the in the initial period after surgery avoiding smoking avoiding alcohol consumption using a warm compress 48 to 72 hours after surgery um, using and applying um, antibiotics to your stitches after surgery and finally making sure that you're hydrated eating a balanced diet I do hope this information has been helpful for you. Thank you for watching. And if you have any further questions or queries, do not hesitate to contact me. I will be delighted to answer them. Thank you.